Good Monday morning, everyone. I'm Amy Schrader with Remax Real Estate 10. I'm here to give you your Monday market update uh, for real estate in Hamlin County. So today is July 29th. We're nearing the end of the month. So these numbers are going to be reflective of what's happened from July 1st until today. Um, it's been a busy month, I can tell you that. So far, we've had 92 new homes come on the market in Hamlin County. That's the most that we've seen in quite a long time. Of those 92 new listings, seven have already closed and 28 of those are under contract. We've seen a total of 71 homes go under contract for the entire month. We've had 51 homes that have sold. Now, these are the last three days of the month coming up, so that number will increase. Um, a lot of times, closing gets scheduled towards the end of the month, so I do anticipate that number to go up between now and August the 1st. Uh, but at the 51 homes that have sold, the average sales price is $290,500. Those homes have 27 days on market on average. We've had um, a median sales price of 255000 with 12 days on the market. Sales prices on those homes have ranged from $30,000, which as you can guess is a total rehab house, up to $1.175 million. That was a lakefront home that sold over on Fowler Drive. So 43 of the 51 home sales were below $400,000. So we've talked quite a bit about average sales price, median sales price, and once you get above that $400,000 mark here in Hamlin County, you are going to see a little bit longer time on the market on average. We've had 20 homes that were under contract that that fell apart for whatever reason. They did come back on the market. Of that 20, six of those are already under contract again. We've had 45 price changes so far month to date. The average is around 25,000. Those homes have an average of 55 days on the market. Median price reduction is around 15,000 with 46 days on the market. So we are seeing price changes um, quicker now than we used to, and we're seeing more price changes. So that's why I tell my sellers, the number one thing we need to do is price this home right when we put it on the market. Otherwise, you're costing yourself not just money, but time. Because then you're sitting on the market longer and you're having to do bigger price reductions to get buyer interest regenerated into your home. Right now in Hamlin County, we have 124 homes that are active and available for sale. That's probably the most that we've had on the market in a while, so inventory is starting to grow, mainly due to the fact that we had 92 homes that came on the market so far this month. Um, so if you're you know, someone who's out here looking to buy, you do have more options right now than you did even a month ago when our active inventory was in the 90 range. Um, <coughs> excuse me, 78 of those homes are priced below $400,000. We've got 81 homes that are under contract currently. So we do have a little bit extra inventory. Take advantage of that. Interest rates right now are running in the mid sixes for a 30 year conventional. Probably get close to six, six and an eighth if you're doing a government type loan such as FHA or VA. Um, this is what I can tell you. I think if you're looking to sell your home, August and September, you need to get your home on the market as quickly as possible so that you can get your home sold during those two months. October 1st, we're going to start getting flooded and inundated with political campaigns. And anytime that starts happening in a presidential year, we see people kind of take to the back burner. You're going to see less buyer activity because people are going to wait till after the election to figure out what's going to happen. You know, who's going to take presidency for the next four years? What kind of economic policy are they going to hold? How's that going to look? So a lot of people are going to put the brakes on buying until after the election. So if you're looking to sell, I would highly encourage you to reach out, if not to me, to the agent of your choice um, in the next week or so and work to get your home on the market as quickly as possible so that you can take advantage of those buyers who are out and about right now. If you are looking to sell your home in Hamlin County or the surrounding area, I would love to have a conversation with you and show you why I am different than most agents in the area. Feel free to send me a DM or click the link in the description and let's schedule a time to talk.